Welcome to Scorched Earth and a shadow reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon or Ascendant. I guess it's for the month of June, but I kind of feel whenever you see this video, it's when you're supposed to hear the message. So don't get too hung up on the date. Shadow work is, is not something that you can do, you know, week in, week out necessarily. You need time in between them. So <coughs> they're kind of timeless anyway. That's kind of what I'm saying. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And um, I just wasn't quite sure how to go about it. I genuinely believe that all signs, just as we are born with, you know, particular skill sets and attributes and all that kind of thing, you know, our character. We're born with a collective shadow as well. And my raison d'etre, if I have one at all, is about empowerment through kind of introducing you to your shadow and getting you to open a dialogue with it, you know, start a conversation, start integrating that part of yourself that you, you know, reject, that you don't acknowledge exists, and kind of bring it towards you. Integration creates the whole, you know, and, and there is no light without the dark. and such things. So it's very rough and ready. I'm only going to pull three cards um, and it's it's just a starting point. If it's something that you see the value of and it's something that you would like to see me do more of, then let me know. Give me some feedback in the comments or email me if you don't want to, if you're not feeling comfortable about leaving a comment or something. Um, because I've got a ton of decks that, that lend themselves really, really well to um, shadow work. We, we use the Oracle as a base and then flesh it out with tarot but only if it's something that you want. Now, I should warn you by definition, this is usually uncomfortable. It's not the sort of thing that you want to hear about yourself. Um, but if it kind of makes you wince away, then maybe it's got a point is the thing. And leaning into the discomfort is part of shadow work. So um, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is pull three cards. Like I said, the first one's going to be uh, the main concern. And that kind of tends to be the way that, that whatever this is, shows up in your life um, the second card will be the root cause and the third card will be the recommendation I'm not pulling any clarifiers or just leave it there like that so let's do this so I'll do I'll just pull three cards from the top so <clears throat> your first card is a number 42 interesting second card is number 47 Mm -hmm. And the recommendation is number 11. Now, I've only had these cards for a few days, so I'm not familiar with all of the names and the meanings. So I've got my trusty PDF here. Thank you, Deviant Moon Inc. Um, and we'll have a look, see if we can't relate this to the Taurus experience somewhat. So the first card is called the Pact. And it says, the Frau and the devil meet alone in the woods to seal their evil pact. The handshake is binding and the agreement made tonight will last until the end of time. And this dark meaning of this is an unbreakable commitment you might someday regret, treacherous collaborations, a dark deal. It sort of seems to suggest that <clears throat> at times when your shadow is in charge, sometimes Sometimes you look for allies, right, rather than than dealing with situations, right? <clears throat> you look for people to kind of support your position rather than really giving it a lot of thought. Let's have a look at the, the meaning for this one here. Yeah, so this is called Glamour. Lucifer, the king of deception, holds a mirror up to a rotted skeleton who sees an illusion of herself in better days. And the meaning here is delusion, not seeing things for what they really are, self-denial, living a false reality, twisted perceptions, right? <clears throat> this is, this is absolutely the shadow in play, but for me, it feels a little bit like imposter syndrome, right? Like it, you fear that what it is that you see in the mirror sometimes isn't actually what is, and you're very preoccupied with how you are viewed by other people. Now, when you are, when you give too much credit to how other people view you and how what other people think about you and stuff like that, it could lead you into, you know, seeking allyships, if as it were, with people who mm, you don't actually have any close feelings for. 
right? You're not actually looking to make a friendship out of this. You're just trying to kind of lose yourself in the herd a little bit, right? Because looking in the mirror is sometimes painful. And because you're so fucking worried about what everybody else sees in the mirror. Right? I hope that makes sense. The recommendation card, number 11. <clears throat> is called Spilled Secrets. Skeletal pallbearers dropped the black coffin they were carrying on the way to the gravesite, exposing the body of a murdered woman. The meaning is revealing the truth. Right? Deeds uncovered for the world to see. It talks about being open. Right? It talks about being vulnerable. It talks about moving only with integrity. Right? Not looking for, for you know allies who can help you disappear into the crowd right it's talking about standing in your own truth actually right and sometimes sometimes it's difficult to put your head above the parapet and say <clears throat> this is my truth and this is what i believe because when you put your head above the parapet you're literally making a target for people to knock off but the kind of people that would knock your head off the parapet there are the same ones who would seek to hide away in a crowd to avoid looking at themselves right too closely i'm going to leave it there like i said i would like some feedback at this point if, if i was doing this as a proper shadow reading i'd have like fucking at least three of my dark decks out and i'd be looking at this but the idea is just to get you into dialogue with yourself like do you hide in the crowd because you are afraid of you know xyz whatever Give me some feedback, let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.